So being able to start up a Sinatra app is cool enough, but it's pretty useless if you don't know how to access the application and make requests to that server. It's running, it's waiting for someone, anyone, to reach out and start talking to it. The most common way of making a request to a server is through the web browser. So let's try that. So what's the URL that I need to type in to access our Sinatra app? What address do we visit? Did you notice this line in the terminal output we got when we started up our server? Sinatra v1.4.7 has taken the stage on 4567 for development. What is this 4567 it's referring to? Well, before we go any further, there are two key terms we need to define. Local host and port. Our Sinatra app is running on local host, which put simply means that the app is running on this computer, my computer. I can access it from this computer, but it's not accessible to any other machine right now. And most development work is done locally on developers' own computers before apps are deployed to production servers where everyone else can access them. So that's the local host part. What about port? Well, put simply, ports are specific entry points into a host like localhost. On our localhost, we can have multiple web apps running at the same time, each on a different port. In our case, the Sinatra app is running on port 4567, as the terminal output told us. But we could also have another app running at the same time on port 3000, or maybe port 8080. So we've made it through the tedious term defining section. It's time to put those two ideas together, localhost and port. So to browse an app running on localhost, all you need to do is visit this URL, localhost, colon, and a port number. In our case, we want to visit localhost 4567. Make sure your server is still running in your terminal. And if it's not, just restart it with rubyapp.rb. And then switch over to your browser and visit localhost colon 4567. And that's it. You made your first request to our Sinatra app. You should see the application homepage, and you can now click around and view the different pages of the app. So we have our homepage here, but there's also a lovely about page that you can peruse. It says, this is the about page, and yes, it has a different icon here. It's not much functionality wise, but that's not the point. What's important is that you're making a request and viewing your first Sinatra app running on localhost. Remember that this app is only accessible on your computer for now because it's running on localhost. If you revisit your terminal, you'll see some new output that's actually triggered by the request that we made to localhost 4567. Every time a new request is made, we get some new terminal output detailing the information about that request. Also, remember that this app is only accessible on your own computer for now because it's running on localhost. And if you try shutting off your server with Control-C or Control-D, and then you try and request localhost 4567 again, oh no, the app is gone. The site can no longer be reached because our server is no longer running. There's nothing to request anymore. But don't worry, you can restart the server and resume making requests.